I'm Tiana. I'm a sophomore from Lincoln Southwest. Stop! And this is my poem, Petals and Thorns. The rose symbolizes both love and fear. Complete opposites, yet they exist in the same space. Love is the petals. Love, a noun, an intense feeling of deep affection. Fear is the thorns. Fear, a noun, an unpleasant emotion caused by the belief that someone or something is dangerous, likely to cause pain or threat. I am a firm believer that the opposite of love is not hate, but fear. And the dividing line, the door between the two, is trust. Do you love someone enough to open the door? Do you fear letting them in so much you keep that door bolted shut? Fear is one of the most powerful manifestations of emotions. War is a great example of this. You attack first because you're scared of getting attacked. But love, love is blind. I have a friend that lets people use her because she can't even see it. She is so blinded by the idea of love and people use that against her. Blind love is what happens when you hold a rose by the petals. You shouldn't ever hold a rose by the petals. But love can drown in fear. Fear being in control is what happens when you hold a flower by the thorns because you see love is a bargain deal, one, but you have to pay for two. To have the beauty of love without killing it, you must grip the rose by the thorns and understand that it is going to hurt. Fear and love used to work on the same side of that door, the trust. I always wondered how that worked, how the rose was held without drawing blood. You see, fear was a protector until it decided to make love a prisoner, locking love on the other side of that door. Fear is running the show. You're gripping the rose by the thorns, but that doesn't make fear a villain. No, fear was just an angel that fell too far from the clouds. Fear had good intentions. The bad thing about intentions is they're often left unspoken. Fear was, tra love was trapped in fear's protection. A prison by another name is still a prison. Love no longer had the light to grow. The flower shriveled up and died. Fear is the only thing that the more light it absorbs, the darker it gets. Fear of the fallen angel was now only a siphon. You see, this war with both love and fear pointing guns at one another only makes us miserable. Having the door wide open is ignorant. Having the door tightly sealed is lonely. They can't be on opposing sides because when one shoots, they both bleed. How do you hold a rose without damaging the petals or bleeding from the thorns? It's not the petals, it's not the thorns, it's the rose. You can't hold it at all. You must keep it planted for it to grow.